<laughs> um, hey guys, uh, Jim is- <laughs> Hey guys, Jim Stroud here. Today I'm- <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you do a lot of searches online and uh, a lot of uh, Boolean searches for free resumes and things like that nature, uh, no doubt you have a lot of search strings that you use and you probably forget different things that you tried in the past. Well, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to... Uh, <coughs> to track your uh <laughs> wait I got I gotta I gotta say something I got to I got to um okay um I was laughing earlier if I don't know if you noticed that <laughs> Whew. okay this was funny. This was funny to me. Okay, maybe not for you, but it was funny to me. Um, if you followed my show for, I don't know, a few episodes, hopefully you've been following it a little longer than a few episodes, but if you've been following my show for a while, you know that I, I often reference uh, my video editor there, uh, whose name I thought, <laughs> whose name I thought was Guido, but it turns out that is not his name. Um, I found out because uh, his mother called <laughs> and said his real name. So from now on, I will only refer to him by his real name on this show. <laughs> I am going to say it. Okay. I'm sorry. It, it, it's just me. It, it's, it's funny because I, it's not often you find somebody whose name is... Uh... Okay. To effortlessly track your Google searches, all you need is a Google account. It's a freebie. Uh, <laughs> so no worries there. Sign up for it by going to the URL on the screen. If you have a uh, Gmail account, blogger account, or access to any other Google property, chances are you already have, well, no chances, you do have a Google account. Hey, come on, I'm still talking. Don't put the demo in because I'm still talking about your name, Mr. Once you have a, a Google account, just search as you normally would and click on results as also <laughs> as you normally would. Now, if you've made a few searches, just go over to Google Web History, the URL. There you go. Thank you, sir. From here, you can click on a certain date to see all your searches made on that date. You can also search your history by categories like uh, images and even books that you uh, have looked for in the past. Now, for our purposes, however, uh, we're going to focus on keyword searching. Now, I find a lot of free resumes when training clients on how to source the Internet. A lot of my searches include the phrase entitled colon resume. So when I do a search in Google, in my Google web history uh, for that phrase, I get a list of searches that I've made in the past. But not only that, I also get to see the links that I clicked on when I uh, go through those results as well. Now, uh, here are a few suggestions on how to take this strategy a step further. Search on common phrases you use when searching um, Google Web History and add keywords to find search strings that you've used in the past. Um, another thing you may want to do as well is when you find a search that you like, do it again and add a rec number. Of course, you won't get any search results, but if you are consistent with this method, you'll be able to track your searches by a rec number inside of Google Web History. Uh, sort of like this. Make sense? Hope so. You know, I don't normally do this. But uh, this is just too good. If you can figure out the name, uh, the real name <laughs> of my uh, illustrious video editor, uh, there are some hints on the screen. If you can guess his name, then I will send to you um, an iTunes gift card or an Amazon gift card. Just leave a comment, um, leave a guess of what... Uh, <laughs> leave, leave a guess as to what his real name is in the comments. I will choose someone. Um, uh, and, and award you award award you an Amazon card or an iTunes card, whatever your preference is. So just for that, uh, again, some some hints uh, to his name are, <laughs> are on the screen, and. Um, 
Thank you everyone for all of your wonderful comments from the last episode. These are some YouTube comments that I received. Just want to say thank you, healthy mom. Thanks, mom, <laughs> for being a new fan and for uh, hanging out with us here. Also want to give a shout out to my pal across the pond, Bill Borman, for his comments on the YouTube channel and also to Uber Beater. Uh, not sure what kind of name that is, but it sounds pretty cool to me because you're leaving a lot of comments and I do appreciate that. Although you are competing with my friend over on Google Plus, Aaron Lentz, who also had a lot of good comments of products that we can use but not to forget at all Charlene Burke Charlene hello thanks for being consistent I really appreciate you watching every week and also Tamson and to Jeanette College uh, thank you guys for uh, your comments as well nothing but love for you love 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 nothing but love